In other news, today the city of Philadelphia is commemorating Indigenous Peoples Day. Well, what's getting a lot of attention this morning is the new look for that plywood covering that's been covering the controversial statue of Christopher Columbus in South Philadelphia. For more on that, let's head out live to Eyewitness reporter Jasmine Payudas, who is at Marconi Plaza with more on that story. Good morning to you, Jasmine. Good morning, Janelle. Jim, there's been controversy surrounding the statue for years. As we speak, Philadelphia police are standing by guarding it. And now there's even mixed opinions about what's been done to the box. It's enclosed in. Now, here's what that box used to look like. The new paint job was done at the request of District Councilman Mark Squillop. His office says he simply asked the city to cover up the graffiti. Parks and Rec painted it green, and then an independent artist painted the colors red and white. The future of this statue is still a toss up and remains at the center of a legal battle between the city and the friends of Marconi Plaza. The city wants to remove the 145 year old statue, but some Italian Americans wanted to stay. Residents called its new look middle ground. I looked at it a couple days ago, and so this is so sad just to see this boarded up thing. So uh, I'm Italian American. I'm proud of that. Uh, there's things people don't like about Christopher Columbus, but that's in the past. But this was a good compromise to, uh, to put the flag up. Other people we spoke with say the box was put up for a reason, and these colors only create more division in a diversifying neighborhood. Now, coming up today at 11 o'clock, the city is having an Indigenous Peoples Day parade or festival, rather, at Penn Treaty Park. We'll have live coverage of that at noon. We're live in South Philadelphia. Jasmine Payu, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Jasmine, we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you for that report.